Um, over the years, I've always tried to figure out ways to, one thing, save money and also have a superior machine. So I've built quite a few different machines for my shops. And the, the two that I'm going to show you in this video are a vertical lap and a horizontal lap, and they're both to, based on a direct drive, one quarter horsepower motor. Main reason for wanting to build them was for the strength of the motors, the direct drive, and minimal noise. Okay, what this first machine is, is a horizontal lap. It's made with two by fours, three quarter inch exterior plywood, <clears throat> a five gallon bucket bottom with a brass fitting screwed into the bottom for drainage, a uh, commercially made arbor with a half inch shaft, and then I just bought the motor that's on it direct from Granger's. I'm sure Greg's going to zoom in on the label so you can see the particulars on the motor. Okay, once you get your base built and your motor mounted and your switch on it and everything you can again you can buy this stuff this is just what's called a master lap it's made out of aluminum and you can use other things in aluminum these are plated diamond laps which i have some in stock if you're interested lay that on top tighten it down Maybe. Come on now. And then I'll turn it on and you'll see why I like quiet. Quiet enough to listen to rock and roll in the background. So now we'll show you the vertical lap. Okay, many years ago, I decided I needed a vertical flat lap along with my horizontal flat lap. And when I made it, they still had sheet metal shops in most towns. So I went to the local sheet metal shop and gave them the idea of what I needed for this splash guard. And they danced it out and made it for me. I don't know if you maybe do something with a five gallon bucket or something. You just need to figure out some way to contain this, this splash. Um, when I first made it, I just had the lap and then it dawned on me that it would be really nice to have a, a table for it. So I made this table totally freehand. The bottom part is a piece of angle iron that I drilled two holes in and cut a slot so this slides back and forth and then this is just a piece of straight eighth inch steel that i brazed onto another piece of angle iron so you, you can adjust like if you want to do edges for a cab or if you want perfectly perpendicular to the face of that depending on what you're after you can adjust it you know, typically when I'm cutting cabs, I'll get a, a machinist rule ruler and I'll set my angle exactly how I want my bevel edge or bezel edge and then lock it down so then every time you shape a cab, you get the bezels already on it. Okay, what you Typically, you lay out your cab shape that you're after, like 8x10, whatever. Anyway, you lay it out on your slab, cut it out, and this one's already cut, but it's just to give you an idea of how simple this is. You lay it on that, move your fingers in with it running, obviously, and water going, and then you just slowly come around and grind it to your line, you know, and you can go real light, real heavy, it doesn't really matter, whatever you're comfortable with. And then when you're all done, if you look at the 
the side of that, it's got the angle for the bezel. You know, and you can change the angle if you want a sharper angle. You, I wouldn't go much less than this. And then you, you already have your bezel angle ready. And when you dome things over, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, here's a sample of some preforms that were made on this vertical lap, just to give you an idea. You can go from small to large, you can go from tiny to large, it doesn't really matter. And this is just turquoise that I'm slowly going through, trying to make sense out of what I have. Pretty nice stone.